Okay, so now I'm unboxing the GTX 680. We're kind of getting there with the build now. Got the motherboard in, looking pretty sick. I'm not gonna lie. So now, just thought I'd unbox this. Trying to figure out which way to actually unbox this. In fact, I might have to go back in the living room to do this one because it's pretty big. <clears throat> okay. So. Uh. Undoing the EVGA sticker. Okay. Please note: do not return to the store. EVGA offers direct customer service. Blah blah blah. blah. Okay. Okay. Bear with me. Okay. Here, I'm. Pretty sure this is one ridiculously large poster. Uh, okay, that was bigger. Let me just undo this. Let's show you guys. That's what the poster looks like. And then here we've got some stickers. Here we have the graphics card user guide with, of course, the instructions. And what the hell is that? Oh, just a caution thing. So I will be needing those. And then here. We've got this compartment and this compartment. And in here we have Molex, more Molex, and VGA to DVI or DVI to VGA, whichever way. Okay, let's actually have a look at the graphics card itself. Undoing the sticker for you guys, really not that interesting at the moment. Okay, I'm just undoing the wrapper. Okay, so as you can see here, we've got a pretty sick looking graphics card. Remove protective film. Oh, there's like two layers of protective film. And that was weird. As you can see. GeForce GTX. It's slightly raised, I didn't realise, that's pretty cool. And this one has the backing plate, which I can peel this off and show you guys as it's the super clocked edition. Show you the back. It's got DVI, DVI, mini HDMI and HDMI and it's a pretty big card but it rules 
So, thank you for watching this unboxing. We're nearly complete with the build. Tomorrow we'll be receiving the CPU. I'm just going to continue with the cable management and see if the H1, H100 over there will fit in. Um, we'll go from there. Cheers for watching.